justified. I'm done. When I got saved, when I got justified, my God, I was born again. But I went on to a second work of grace. I sold all the way out. That is the earmark of a person that is genuinely sanctified. Amen. Don't listen to their testimony. Don't listen to that. Every getting up talking about, I think I've been saved by this day. Ain't been on time to church in seven months. Don't listen to that. You got to beg and plead them to come to a prayer meeting. Somebody's under distress. You got to beg and plead them. But you mentioned going to the mall. They're the first people there. You got to beg and plead them to fast for so and so. But my, you mentioned anything to do with food. They're the first person there. Paul said, I am crucified. I didn't just give up sin, but I'm sold out to God. You ain't got to beg his brother. Hey, brother, we want to have a prayer meeting tomorrow. We're going to study. You, you, you're going to come. You start anything spiritual. It'll last about two weeks. Uh, about two weeks because just the inspiration of the newness of it will attract some people yeah. right. but if they are not 100% committed to God and 1000% into it you check the third week, check the attendance those are the real ones the first week, everybody, hey man when is it Wait, hey man, oh it was so good the second week, well I got I got, I got, I got, I got. by the third week now you can see who's for real I'm just telling you the truth, start anything I don't care what it is I appreciate the passion and the burden my God, he was telling me about morning church. He said, man, ladies, listen, I get what, what? I get one crew in, I ride them, then they fall off, I give me another one. I give me another crew, I ride them for about four or five years, and then drop them off, give me another one, my God. What? A hundred percent committed. You gotta be so committed now that you say that my commitment supersedes anybody around me's commitment. Yes. Some people get saved and they're 100% committed. They say, I'm going to service, I'm going to be there early. And they see somebody else that they got spiritual confidence in coming in 20 minutes later that they own the world. Oh, I thought you had to be on time. Oh, I thought you had to be committed. I thought a devotion was important, but then I saved night with all the young people. And I noticed some of the other ones that seemed real loud. They got up, went downstairs, and ate. Not the word. <laughs> with their clothes on. Isn't it amazing when young people get together and they have like overnight things? You stand together and you sit there and you watching them, and at no time did I see you getting to work. I didn't see you. Part. I didn't. I, I've been with you now for about. You see, when we weren't together, you could pull the wool over me. I just say she probably do. But we just been together for about two days now on the trip. Besides our food, I've not seen you. <laughs> Now, I understand you left your Bible, but you also left that sweet smelling stuff and you put over at Walmart and got you another bottle. Oh my. Where are your priorities at? Oh my God. I'm sorry, go to John 2, 2, 2. Turn to John 2, verse 15. Saint first John, first John 2, verse 15. God is not calling people just out of sin, but he's calling us to a hundred percent commitment. Now I'm gonna tell you, my God, this is heavy, Saint. Everybody ain't going to make this trip. Everybody is not going to make this trip. This type of preaching ended Jesus' revival. My God. Now we we'll show you the word of God. Come on and read. Love not the world. Love not the world. Neither the... Hold on. Love not the world. Don't be so caught up in the world. Now that you say God is calling to 100% commitment, my God. This is too much for some people. He said love not the world. All this... To do with the world. I'm done with it. It don't matter to me. I'm not love, I, I'm not intimately engaged in the world anymore. Amen. Come on and read. Love not the world. Come on. Neither the things that are in the world. Come on. For all, if any man love the world, come on. The love of the Father is not in him. Yes, sir. Amen. Hold on. I'm 100% committed to God. Amen. I'm done with everything that doesn't bring glory to God. Amen. Check my CDs. Amen. Check my wardrobe. Amen. I'm not trying to be impressive no more. Amen. Amen. I want to look nice, yes. but I'm talking about 100% commitment tonight. Yes, All these people getting in and coming in here, getting saved, they first got to be taught 100% commitment away from the world. 100% yes, right. commitment from sin. Amen. But my God, you also got to be 100% committed to God. Amen. You got to magnify God in your life. Amen. Everything you involve yourself in. I'm Amen. done. I'm done. And my God, saints, we can teach no less than this and still produce church of God. Be excited about people coming in, but we also got to teach them it's a 100% commitment. That's right. Everything that you was involved in, my God, that didn't bring glory to God. I didn't say it was sinful. Yes. That's right. If it didn't even bring glory to God, I'm done with it. Your clothes coming around just all tight and revealing, showing all your body off, your chest all out. Your, all your... God said that's of the world. That's why all these high heels and all this other stuff come. Got people looking. No, that's not a God. 
That's like love not. Well, I don't know. I can't do away with it. Oh my God! I'm, 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 I'm sorry, I have to keep going. Here. Looking like Jezebel and all this other stuff. And if you won't be saved for real, yes, sir. Yes, it's 100 percent turn from sin. But in order to be saved for real, you got to come all the way, my God, and turn from self and the world. You got to be 100 percent turned to God. Thanks to God, this is deeper than you can imagine. This is much deeper. That's why, hold on, I'm sorry, I can't go to all the scriptures, so I'm just going to go. That's why my God saints, he said over in Romans 12, he said, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercy of God, you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your reasonable servant. He said in verse number two, he said, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. In order for you to make this thing, your mind got to be changed. Yes. You had to spend time before God because I'm going to tell you, some of these young people getting saved today, some of these older people getting saved today, all they know is worldliness. Yeah. All they know is ungodly. All they know is just getting men's attention. Jezebel painted. Think about what she did. Painted her eyes all up. Painted her lips. <laughs> Where in the world is it? Last time I checked over in Genesis, thank God for natural. The last time I checked over in Genesis, the Bible says he made the animals. He made the sheep. I mean, the, uh, uh, the, the fishes. He made this. And at the end of everything, he said, and it was good. He made man. He didn't make them with all that mess on your lips and all that mess on. Jezebel started that foolishness. That's right. That's right. He said, and it was good. The way God made us is good and it's beautiful. It's wonderful. But say to God, the world has got such a hold on this generation that when they come get saved, they got to be taught all over again right, that, right. my God, you got to be 100% committed to the Word of God, 100% gift. I'm sorry. Turn over. Turn over to, uh, I'm sorry. Turn over to, um, turn over to 1 Corinthians 6.20. 1 Corinthians 6.20. We got our work cut out for us, saying this is revival. You want to be a part of revival? This is what God is calling us to. First Corinthians six twenty. Come on, read. For ye are bought with a price. You are bought. God saved you. He bought you with a price. He didn't just come and deliver you out of sin, but He bought you. He wants you. You are His slave now. You are His servant now. Come on, and read. Therefore, therefore, glorify God. Glorify in your God body. in your body. Come on, and in your spirit. Every part of your spirit, your mindset, your attitude. Make sure to glorify God. But what if they do me wrong? It's okay. Respond how you want to respond, but make sure the way you respond glorifies God. Yes, sir. Right. At the end of your response, I know you was at work. I know your husband did you wrong. But at the end of your response, make sure however you choose, you can choose to respond any way you want to. You can be real quiet. You can hum. You can sing a song, you can answer, you can write him a note. But just make sure whatever you do, make sure it glorify God. They say, wow, she said. He said, glorify God in your spirit. Your conversation, use whatever language you want to use. But make sure your language glorifies God. Somebody want to talk about, what does it mean to be 100% committed to God, say for real? Glorify God. He said, not just your spirit, though. He said, glorify him where? In your body. My Lord. My body, the way I look. What I got on. I'm glorifying God. I'm 100% committed. Lord, it don't matter. Amen. I didn't know this, Lord. Amen. I didn't know these tight pants I got on showing all my body off. Yes. And I'm not talking about sisters. Amen. Only. Amen. These men coming around here with these little tight pants. That's so sad. I pray that trend don't come around the church. Got someone you can't even put a wallet behind. Come on, brother. How you just, just trying to get the wallet in there? Just trying. Ugh. Because somebody started a trend. Don't you know five years ago that was a reproach? You yeah. couldn't, they couldn't sell no skinny jeans. Come on, bro. But because some actor or some Hollywood star came in and got these little skinny jeans on, they used to be, they used to call you a sellout and everything else if you wore some little skinny tight. Man, be crying. Mama, I ain't wearing, I ain't wearing no tight jeans. No, this is tight. And now they got these little tight jeans on. He's got the men. Men don't even sound. Men wearing tight jeans. Come on. If the devil is it. The devil is dirty. First he had them with jeans falling off. They couldn't even have them. All... Now they all tight. Won't you just be normal? Come on. Why can't you be normal? Why can't you just be why can't you just be just, why can't you just be just natural and normal? Don't bring no attention. Devil either gonna have you with some jeans. Twelve size. I'll go to the mall. All the size forty twos are gone. <laughs> Where in the world? What, hold on. What in the world? What, where are you? I, somebody coming in wearing a 36, getting a size 42. Man, no, I can't wear it. You, you got this sweater? Look, you weigh 150 dripping 